Two giants of football going head to head today. The atmosphere is electric. So many stars on show and everyone is excited and ready for this one. All the action coming up next here on EA TV. It's North London against West London coming up. In other words, Arsenal against Chelsea here at the Emirates. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me today is Stuart Robson. Stuart, this is usually feisty. It certainly is. It's another London derby which has become very competitive recently. If both teams play at their best today, we should be in for a great game. Number two, And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kepa stands between the posts. Aspili Quetta starts alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Mateo Kovacic plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And the starting striker today is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And they kick off here. Who can they pick out? Well, good clean catch by the keeper. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Oh, he can score here, Derek. Well, it so nearly went in, but the post having its say. Well, that's a great effort, isn't it? 
He caught that really well. That deserved a goal. Sané. Well, no stopping him. Has eyes for goal. Oh, my goodness. What an outrageous hit. I can't believe he took it on from there. And neither can the goalkeeper. So Chelsea restart the game. Can they come up with an answer? Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Aubameyang. And a goal! An end-to-end -end game. And they weren't behind for long. Well, as the replay shows us, Ziyech's pass is inch perfect and the finish is brilliant from Aubameyang. He hits it so sweetly. That's a top-class goal. Chelsea Back goal. underway, level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Kovacic seducing with his passing. Ziyech! And he quartered the attack with a masterful tackle. Thomas Partey. And a good-looking ball. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. So the corner played into the box. And the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial. Well, behind for another corner. And the danger still on. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at the Emirates. Well, the action underway again. Chelsea trailing going into the second half. Can they come up with the right response? And goal news to bring you from the Brentford game. Here's Alex with an update. It's his second goal for Manchester City. It was a breathtaking finish. A shot. Oh no, what a chance this is. And the ball is loose. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence.
Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. Well, back underway here, and they've split the four goals between them so far. Well, unfortunately, we had to interrupt Alex just then. Just to confirm, Manchester City did score in that game, and their advantage at the moment stands at 2-0. And a long way out, and foiled only by the crossbar. Sustained pressure, and now they have the ball. Partey, still level here, but the pressure escalating. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. It is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? And the pass, a good one. Oh, splendid skill. Kovacic. And will it be the leveller? And it's come off the keeper. Well, it came to nothing in the end. 20 minutes remaining. Current scoreline 4 2. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number four, Ben White. Coming on. Obama Yang. Number six, Gabriel. Now they stopped them in their tracks. Breaking at pace. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Chance to cross and making the run to the inside. Well, the keeper committed himself. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Let's see about the delivery. So back with the action, and Arsenal sprinting away with ease. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Can he put it in? And the pass getting in the way. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Number 13, Devin Lozano. Corner kick played in. Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. 
Now well, a corner right on the back of the last one. And over comes the corner. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. And a big chunk of added time here, a minimum of five minutes. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Really nice ball. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. So there goes the final whistle. It ends in a victory for Arsenal. Maximum points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today.
We're starting to get down to the nitty-gritty. Just four teams left in the Carabao Cup, and the stage is set for an absorbing semi-final. It is Chelsea. They face Arsenal live right here on EA TV. Good evening to you and a warm welcome to the part of West London where the Kings Road and Fulham Road meet, Stamford Bridge. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. Only four teams are left in this cup competition, we're at the semi-final stage and this is the first leg. It is Chelsea and they take on Arsenal. This should be a great tactical battle. Which team is going to have the courage to try and win the game and which team will be fearful of losing? The game plan of each coach will certainly be key today, Derek. Mendy starts in goal as Pili Quetta plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. And the striker today is Pierre Emerick Obamayan. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. It should be a match to look forward to. Chelsea get it underway. Mateo Kovacic. Well, they have the ball once more. Martin Odegaard. And now passing it through. A matter of keeping his composure. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. Bukayo Saka. Opportunity here. Tremendous block. Now well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Sterling Ziyech on to James it's with Hakim Ziyech at times they make passing look easy Corte and now Sterling and still looking for space Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Oh, lovely ball. And there it is! The first goal of the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes!
So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Well, it's advantage Arsenal after the first 45 minutes, but still a long way from being decided here. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Well, Manchester City had long ago identified their target and now they've got their man, Stuart. Well, I think it's a good move for him. He has great ability but needs to be that little bit more consistent. I'd say it's a fair price as well. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Must score! And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. now and back underway just a quick reminder action from the third round of the FA Cup coming up live on EA TV it's Chelsea versus Luton Town well it's great to have a break from the league for the players and the fans everybody loves this competition and so do I it should be a good game able to deal with the threat now they're going to alter things here's the substitution Played over. Ball is loose. Oh, it's an own goal. A moment he would love to be able to forget. Is looking rather comfortable for them 3-0 and they're making a change favoring the short one and he takes on the shot Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Schick. Schick. Well, the supporters think it's on. And it might be. There it is. A fantastic goal. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Kovacic! And how about that for a save?
Malasia. Oh, big chance. And it's there for him. A goal! They're absolutely racing away with this. Three to the good now. Well, on they go again. Arsenal very much in charge. It's turning into a right old thrashing. Koulibaly. Can he take advantage? Couldn't quite hang on. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Sheik. The supporters want to see him have a go. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. And Patrick Schick now. And keeping it out. Substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch, number 22, Hakim Ziyech. Coming onto the pitch, number 29, Kyle Havertz. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number seven, Kyle Saka. Coming onto the pitch, Played over. They're going to far too close to the goalkeeper. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And still dangerous from a long way out. Well, such a high degree of difficulty. Not quite in the end. Well, how good was that? It's such a difficult piece of skill, which he made look so easy. That deserved a goal. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It, the final whistle, the first leg is over, and Arsenal currently in control of the tie. They carry a lead into the second match. Yeah, and what a performance it was. You can see the confidence in these players. The belief has been growing with every game. This tie's not over yet, but they must know, barring a major upset, they're just 90 minutes away from the final now.